Have you ever wondered what's going on under the water while surf fishing? Today, we're going to review the underwater fishing camera Cam-X from Canfish and test it out in the Southern California surf. Canfish sent me their Cam-X underwater camera for review and I'm impressed by both its form and function. It comes with a camera, wireless charger, and a float that you can use for top-down footage. The camera itself is super simple. It has an on-off switch and that's it. Once you turn it on, the camera immediately starts recording. You can turn recording on and off through the app. It has an internal memory of 16 gigabytes, which you need to transfer to your phone through the Canfish app. It's a bit inconvenient to transfer my footage this way, but I'll take the trade-off, which is a fully sealed camera with no water entry points. The waterproof rating is IPX8, and Canfish says it can reach up to 656 feet, which is way more than I'll ever use this for. The camera records in 1080p and has a field of view of 136 degrees. It has a pretty cool auto light feature that automatically triggers if the camera senses that it's too dark. You can also turn the light switch on manually while connected to the app. The battery is reported to last 2.3 hours and I found this to be fairly accurate when testing. Now onto the fun stuff. The camera comes with two slots on each side and I attached a 100 pound clip on each with 30 pound braid on the back and 10 pound fluorocarbon for my leader. I used about 15 to 20 inches of leader as I wanted my presentation to be as close to the camera as possible. I used a quarter ounce head from top notch lead heads and sand crabs for bait. I lobbed out the camera underhand and I was shocked by how much life was in the water. As you can see, I wasn't throwing the camera out very far and a lot of the footage you're about to see was when the camera was pretty close to shore. On one of my very first casts, I see these two small perch tracking my sand crab and leadhead. But then, look at this guitar fish that enters the picture. You can see my leadhead on the bottom and the front of the guitar fish on top. Can I just say how cool it is to see this thing chilling out next to these dink perch? A swell comes in and the camera gets tossed around, but look at this freeze frame and you can clearly see that this guitar fish has edged closer to my bait. When the dust settles, I'm confident that he's eaten my sand crab, and it's off to the races. For some stupid reason, I had a lockdown drag and so I got cut off, but it was still super cool to see what I had lost instead of wondering what it was. Now, check out a couple of Corvina that swam through. This one almost swam directly past my bait. I wonder if a more natural presentation may have triggered a strike. On this cast, my sand crabs must have fallen off, so I'm left with only the top notch lead head. This was really cool to see because it shows that the orange colored head is clearly attracting the attention of this perch. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check these out. On another cast, this small perch was crawling all over my sand crab meatball, and now I understand why you can get so many bites without actually hooking one. It also shows why you don't want to set the hook too quickly when you first feel a bite. Now check out this school of bigger fish swimming through. At first, I thought they were yellowfin croaker. But on this freeze frame, my guess is that these were mullet. The second freeze frame shows a yellowish tail, which I think is consistent with mullet. Let me know what you guys think these are. Regardless of what these are, I was amazed by the amount of life in the water so close to shore. Overall, I'm extremely happy with this camera as I've always wanted to get underwater footage and it's quite helpful to see fish behavior and what my bait is doing in the water. The camera itself is super simple, well made, and takes terrific footage. If you're interested in picking one of these up, you can check out the link in the video description. Thanks so much, and until next time, tight lines.